In this video, we'll go over how to take apart, clean, and repair a 1.5 inch Pure Aqua solenoid valve. When taking apart a solenoid valve, always remove power before removing the coil. Failure to do so will result in a burnt out coil. To begin taking the valve apart, we're going to use a 9 16 inch wrench to remove the nut on top. After that, we can slide the coil off. The next step is to remove the bolts in the body. In a one and a half inch valve, we have six half inch or 13 millimeter bolts to remove. Once those are taken out, we can remove the top half of the valve. Upon opening, you'll see there's a tiny o-ring over one of the openings in the diaphragm. Remember where that o-ring is sitting because you'll need to put it back in place to reassemble the valve later. You'll also notice there's a spring that sits on top of the diaphragm. Set that aside as well. Underneath the diaphragm is a large o-ring. The seat of the diaphragm here sits in the seating area in the valve body and needs to be completely clean. You can use a Scotch-Brite pad to clean the inside of the valve. Any scaling or buildup here can cause the valve to malfunction. This valve takes a 2 psi differential to close. That differential is fed through this little hole in the diaphragm and through this orifice in the body. If you look here, the orifice opens up in the valve body on the downflow side of the valve. If you need to, you can use a small wire to fish down that opening and clear it of any obstructions. If you're installing a rebuild kit, in your kit you'll receive a new diaphragm, a new large o-ring, which goes underneath the diaphragm, a new spring, which sits on the screw head, and a small o-ring. Your kit will also include a few other parts, including a tool that helps to loosen the stem on the top half of the valve body. Just slip it over like this, and use a wrench to help you loosen it. You'll also notice a port in the top half of the valve here. This should be clear of any buildup as well. Inside the stem we have a washer, and you'll see the stem itself here should be cleaned. You can use a Scotch-Brite pad, just like you do in the valve body. Here we also have a magnetic plunger that lifts to allow flow through the valve. The plunger has a seating surface that sits here. Your kit will include a new plunger. Screw the spring on and place that new plunger in the stem. Next, you place the washer on. And screw it back into the top of the valve. Again, use the included special tool to tighten the stem the rest of the way. This is an O-ring seal, so it doesn't need to be over-tightened. Before reassembling your valve, make sure you've checked all your parts to make sure they're nice and clean. First, we'll place the diaphragm back and lay the small o-ring over that orifice we found in the beginning. The spring once again goes over the screw head on top of the diaphragm, and the top of the valve can be placed over 
and lined up with all of the screw holes. Now you can reinstall your bolts. Again, those are half inch or 13 millimeter bolts. And once those are in, you can slide your coil back on. Then the washer and finally the nut. And now your valve should be clean and ready to go back into service.